Oh, yeah, I, I just forgot about the bullet wound. I hate when that happens. I'm going nice and decent. No, 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 no. It just hurts when I remove it. I'm fine. I'm going to call room service, get some coffee. <laughs> You want coffee? No. You want pizza? No. Anything? Yeah. Home, you, want, home, you want to go home? I want to go home. Yeah, you can't. They need to observe you for at least a few years. But I feel fine. Come on, you're, you're my rich, powerful husband. You're supposed to be able to give me whatever I want. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what do you want? Mm -hmm. You want balloons? Mm-hmm. How about, um... Farm animals. <laughs> I like little dancing gazelles. I adore you. Shot victim. <laughs> Look, isn't there something else I can get you? I want Mama to like you. It's really my fault she missed the wedding. I got somewhere I can go. I'll be back as soon as I can. you want? I want Meg to be happy. And on some level, that means I gotta get along with you, so I guess we have a problem. Yeah, we do have a problem. Because I don't like you. I don't think you're a good person. I don't like you much either. I've seen the damage you've done. I've seen my daughter thrown in jail. I have seen her lose a job that she loves because of you. I've seen her jump into a marriage that was doomed all because of you. You have... You have caused her nothing but anguish. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. And every time... She has managed to pull away from you on her own. You have dragged her back. No, I don't like you. I don't like what you've done to my daughter. Why couldn't you just leave her alone? I'm never going to leave her alone. But I think it was a mistake to come here and talk to you. Paul. I... I... I want Meg to be happy, too. I know that she needs my blessing. I know that she needs my approval. But how can I give her that when I don't see anything good in you? I want to, but I just can't. Well, Meg can. Maybe you could take her word for it. Do you think that I... I have been unfair to you? No, I think that when you look at me, all you can see is my anger and my jealousy which has been off the charts. And all that's changed, has it? Loving Meg has changed everything. I've had to learn to be patient. I've had to learn to have faith that someone like Meg could love someone like me. And every morning, I have faith that when I wake up, that she will still choose to be there next to me. Can you promise me? Promise me that you won't hurt her? No. But I promise you that I will never hurt her intentionally. And Emma, I promise that I will love her as long as she'll have me. That's a promise that I can actually keep. What was the favor you wanted? You going soft on me? <laughs> no, I'm just... I'm just accepting what is, and I'm praying to God that he knows better than I do. 
What is the favor? My wife wants three presents, and you're one of them. Where have you been? You sent me on an errand, you don't remember? I remember telling you I wanted to go home. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. I need to observe you for at least another day. But I'm not bleeding, and I'm not unconscious, and I could channel surf at home in my own bed, cuddling my own husband. Well, that's true. And my mama hasn't even come by. I mean, I've been shot by a homicidal maniac, and I'm in the hospital. She hasn't even called. I don't think she's even home. Well, she'll be here soon. Yeah. Even though she doesn't approve of your brand new husband. I didn't either for a long, long time. Really? Yeah. But you like me now. Yeah. <laughs> so we're married. We're already married. Yeah, but your mother wasn't here. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. Well, don't be too sure. <laughs> what are you doing? Waiting for you to answer me. Will you marry me? Here, right now? <laughs> How did he talk you into this? No, he didn't. You did. You love him. So I thought I might as well try to tolerate him. See? It. We're making headway. Are you up to another wedding? Don't you think this is happening without me? <laughs> I'm still waiting. What do you say? Am I getting married in this hospital again? No, you are not, because I went over to Fashions and I picked up that dress that you saw that you liked so much, Ooh. so you'll have something new. <laughs> but I, I... Look, I talked to Susan, and uh, your doctor says it's okay if you stand up, if it's just for a few minutes. And I brought you this. Your mantilla. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Mama wore this to all our christening. Hopefully it will bring you much happiness and many healthy babies. Thank you, Emma. Be a good husband. That's the only thanks I need. Now that, that was something old. And here is something borrowed. <laughs> Family Bible. <sighs> and this morning I received a present from Will and Gwen. You heard from them? I did. How they doing? They're fine. But they heard about Sophie and everything. We went through with Cole, and uh, so they knew I'd be traumatized. They sent me a little present, and I would be honored if you wore it as something blue. Oh, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. How did you know how much this would mean to me? You promise me you'll take it easy, okay? Because the sooner you get better, the sooner I get to carry you over the threshold. <laughs> again? Again. Again and again. Okay. And again. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's enough, you two. You need to get out of here so we can get this girl ready for a wedding. Come on. Go. Let's see. Let's see. Right. So how do you feel? Like a bride. 